Greetings and salutations, friends, and welcome once again back into the record room. And as per usual, thank you to all of our new subscribers, people liking the videos, leaving comments, checking us out for the first time. It's really, really awesome to have you here with me. I cannot tell you how much it means to me just seeing you guys enjoy the videos, comment, drop me a message, just it is... I really enjoy doing this. I really enjoy doing this. I do this for no monetary gain or anything like that. I just do this because I love talking about records. And like last week's video, that was a sponsored video by our friends over at Mondo. This week's episode is also a sponsored video, but this is an album that I've been dying to talk about for quite a while. In fact, ever since I heard about this project from the start, I have been waiting my appetite was wet with some uh, previews online and uh, I, I am just absolutely thrilled to be able to talk about this album today. But before I talk about this album, I'm going to show you a trailer for the project itself just to get you even more excited. Remember what it felt like to go to the video store with your friends and rent a horror movie? Well, now you can have that feeling every day with Score to Death Entertainment's new music collection. 12 newly reimagined cover versions of themes from some of horror's most iconic films from an all-star group of artists. The theme from Stepfather 2, covered by Steve Moore from the band Zombie. The theme from The Shining, reimagined by Emmy-nominated composer Holly Amber Church. European composer Wojciech Golczewski gives his beautiful take on a cue from Jerry Goldsmith's original score for The Omen. Walk to the Lighthouse from John Carpenter's The Fog is given a harder edge from heavy metal drumming legend Richard Christie. But that's not all. The band's Voyager 3, Anima Morte, and the Briscoe County Youth Orchestra resurrect the main themes from Phantasm, Lucio Fulci's The Psychic, and Cannibal Holocaust. Plus, this new and exciting music collection also features tracks by horror music legend Alan Howarth, composing team Will and Brooke Blair, puppet master Dr. Death composer Harper Smith, and more. This horrifically entertaining compilation album, scored to Death Musique d'Horreur, is available right now in limited edition mystery color vinyl and compact disc at scoretodeath.bandcamp.com. Order your copy today. Score to Death first came on my radar many, many moons ago, back when I was a soundtrack podcaster, back in the dark ages of the internet. Well, it wasn't actually the dark age, it was more like 10 years ago, but it was a while ago. But back then, uh, alongside a very, very good friend of mine, Scott Johansson, we hosted a podcast called The Damn Fine Cast, where we would talk about film music and, and mainly focus on vinyl releases, uh, releases, reissues, that kind of a thing, when the soundtrack soundtracks on vinyl kind of when the resurgence there was a resurgence in soundtracks on vinyl about a decade ago and to coincide with that you know scott and myself longtime film music fans we decided to come together and create this podcast and we would talk about records that were coming out you know original rec original issues we would discuss things uh you know the merits of old versus new and we would also speak to composers and labels and you know things like that and, and that series you know that ran for uh, I don't even know how long it was, a good few years, but but doing that podcast kind of led me to where I am today. So tremendous love for the damn fine cast and tremendous love for film music, obviously. But while I was in the midst of hosting the damn fine cast, a fellow by the name of Jay Blake reached out to me and said, hey, I've just written this book and I think it would be something you could be interested in. The book itself was called Scored to Death, Conversations with Some of Horror's Greatest Composers. And he sent this over to me and I read it cover to cover, literally the minute it landed. It is absolutely phenomenal. If you're a fan of horror scores, film music in general, this is a great tome to read. This is an absolutely, you can read this in like one sit. I almost read this in one sitting. And I've recently gone back and read uh, interviews from this book um, when the album uh, dropped. So this is a, a book that has never left my <laughs> like grabbing distance. It's always somewhere close to me. 
And what spurred off of this book was the documentary that I just showed a trailer for, Score to Death, kind of the movie, if you will, which is, again, conversations with some of horror's greatest composers. Now, the movie was set up as a crowdfunding. Was, a, was it a crowdfunder or a go fund? One of the two. It was a crowdfunded it was a crowdfunding project, Kickstarter, GoFundMe, I'm not sure which one it was. And one of the perks that was offered at the time that the, uh, the project went live was a compilation album to accompany the movie. And this would be cover versions by today's composers covering songs from horror movies that we all know and love. The campaign ran. It was fully funded. The thumbs were given. And uh, yeah, here we are a little bit later on. And I happen to have here a copy of the record. Score to death, Musique de Horreur, or Music of Horror. It is phenomenal. I absolutely freaking love this album. I have listened to this album many, many times since it has landed on my doorstep and a big thank you to Blake for sending this copy over to me for review even though I already knew from the tracks I'd heard online this was going to be no review this was just going to be a gushing love letter for this record because it is freaking awesome I am going to read a little bit of information from the press release because I think it does uh, help in describing the album itself. The new compilation album, Score to Death, Music to Horror, is executive produced by author, filmmaker, musician, Jake Blake Fischera, and features 12 unique cover versions of some of horror's most iconic, as well as obscure, movie themes, recorded by an impressive lineup of musical talent specifically for this release. Now, when they say an impressive lineup, I mean, I, oh, I could not have picked a better group of musicians to do this myself. So it's 12 tracks, six tracks on each side. Uh, I'll run through the track listing and I'll tell you who, uh, who are the, the, the musicians basically donating their time uh, and talent to this release. And it is just, oh my gosh. Kicking off with the main title from Stepfather 2, performed by Steve Moore of Zombie. I mean, Steve Moore's done some incredible scores. Mayhem, VFW. Like, that's how you kick an album off. Lord. Lullaby for Damien Thorne by Wojciech Gorczewski. Another absolute killer, killer musician. He scored 400 days. So, so good. Sete Nero, or Sete, Sete Noche, which is Sete Noche in Nero, uh, Seven Notes in Black. This is performed by Anama Morte. Now, that might be a band that you're not super familiar with, but they've done some work with Fabio Fritzi and Cadabra Records, and it is just absolutely fantastic. We've got the main title from Puppet Master by Jerry Smith. Dracula, the track The Beginning, uh, performed by Brooke and Will Blair. I love the Blair Brothers. I think they are two of the most interesting composers we have at the moment. And that's taken from Bram Stoker's Dracula, originally composed by Wojciech Keeler, one of my all-time favorite scores. And then rounding out the last track, on side A is the intro and main title from Phantasm. Now, admittedly, I'm not a huge fan of the Phantasm theme, but that score, oh, you cannot get any better. And this is performed by Voyager 3. I mean, it does not get any better. And then to kick off side two, we've got the main title from The Shining, one of the most iconic themes in all of horror, performed by one of the most um, exciting up-and-coming composers that I've heard in a long, long time, Holly Amber Church. I love the work she did on Cabinet of Curiosities. If you haven't already heard that score, definitely go and check that one out. We've got Maniac Assault. This is a previously unreleased cue from the movie Basement Jack, composed and performed by Alan Howarth. Now, I don't, I don't have to explain to Alan Howarth this to you. All the legendary scores he did with John Carpenter and just his work overall is... You guys know who Alan Howarth is. Up next, we've got Walk to the Lighthouse from the movie The Fog arranged and performed by Richard Christie, who just, you know, Richard Christie happens to be one of the greatest drummers of all time, a drummer in one of my favorite metal bands of all time, played on one of the greatest metal albums of all time, in my opinion, The Sound of Perseverance, the band is of course Death, and the drummer in question is of course Richard Christie, who I did have the opportunity to interview many, many moons ago. Good guy, loves film music, and this is just a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant cover 
Then we've got what could possibly be my favorite track or favorite cover on the whole album, and that's Profondo Rosso, which is deep red to you and I. And this is actually arranged and performed by Jay Blake himself with Richard Christie on drums. And now we all know that Claudio Simonetti's Goblin are touring the world and they do, you know, play alongs to movies and they play live and it's fun seeing them. I've seen them a, a couple of times now. This version of Profondo Rosso, this to me rivals the original. The, the riffs is just heavy as all get out and it just, I love this version of Profondo Rosso. I will be listening to this version of Profondo Rosso over Claudio Simonetti's. That's all I'm gonna say. No disrespect to Mr. Simonetti, absolute legend, but this is gonna be my go-to if I wanna to listen to Profondo Rosso from now on. Then we've got John Lectures and What Hell Is Like from the movie Day of the Dead, originally performed by John Harrison. On this album, performed by the legend Steve Green. He's the main driving force behind the group Voyager 3. And then we've got the Calibre Holocaust main title performed by the Briscoe County Youth Orchestra. Now the main title from Cannibal Holocaust, if you don't know, the film itself is horrific, but the main title is this beautiful lullaby. It's so nice and so calming and so unassuming. And then you've got this horrific movie. This is without a shadow of a doubt, probably the best album, best collection of horror themes I own. Yes, they are cover versions done by today's artists, but let me tell you, there is not a dud on here. This album is absolutely fantastic. The, the, the groups that have been put together, the artists that have donated their time to do this. I, I couldn't have done it better myself. I really, I wouldn't even know where to start. So uh, yeah. The great thing about this album as well, especially for all you collectors out there, is every single copy is a different color. Now, how that's achieved is this is an album that is pressed on eco wax. So essentially what they do is with eco wax is they take over, take leftover vinyl from other projects. They uh, regrind it and then they use it to make new records. So you get essentially a new color every time a puck drops down and a record is pressed. And now with eco mixes, I will say in the past, I've had some that were less than stellar sounding. Not this one. This one sounds ridiculously good. It is a brilliant, brilliant album. The only drawback I would say comes in a paper sleeve, not a polyline sleeve, but again, not a real bummer because I can change it myself. And then I have, I'll show you here, it's kind of a gray, a grayish marble mix, but there are some really nice flecks of orange. You can kind of see there bits of orange and green. That's the B side. And I will say this album has been mastered to perfection. It is nice and flat. I never know how to make it so it looks flat on the screen, but this is a nice flat looking disc. Pressed at Gotta Groove, which is a great, great pressing plant. Lots of my friends pressed there. I have no issues with this pressing whatsoever. I think this is a phenomenal, phenomenal sounding record. And now I know what you're saying to yourself. Well, how do I get a copy of this album? Well, it's very easy, my friends. All you need to do is go over to the Score to Death Bandcamp page. Now this album will not be streaming online. There are two tracks up at the moment, which is a, a taste, a sample of what you can get when you purchase this album. But for now, the only way you can get this album is by purchasing it through the Bandcamp. Uh, there is an LP and a CD as well. So if you wanna rock one in the car or you're not particularly a vinyl fan, but you like the idea of this album, you can grab yourself a CD. Uh, a digital single is available now with LPs and CDs currently available for pre-order. Well, you can actually get them now. They are shipping and all of the proceeds for the album sales go towards finishing the documentary. I know it's not too far away from being finished, but all album sales will go towards finishing this incredible, incredible film. While you're over there on the band camp, you could also pick up a copy of Score to Death the Novel. There is also a second volume of this. I need to pick up a copy of that, but why you just, you know, make it a party. Grab the album, grab the books. Trust me, you are in for an amazing time. I am actually gonna stop talking and I'm gonna go and listen to this record because I have been listening to it almost daily and I am not bored of it. I absolutely love, love, love this record. If you're a fan of horror music, if you are a fan of film scores in general, you will enjoy this album. 
It looks good, sounds great. It's well mastered, well produced. I cannot say enough good things about this. I'm done with this shilling. All I'm gonna say is I really dig this. I think you guys will enjoy it too. But until next time, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff. You can find us on social media at Record Room Show if you would like to, but the best way to get in touch is to just leave us a comment down below. But until we meet again, spin those blackest circles. <laughs>